What's up guys, Nick from Baitmead here. With the Canadian federal election coming up, a major part of the campaign process is answering questions that are important to the public. With so much buzz surrounding vaping lately, we deserve some answers too. Global News addressed this by asking party leaders their thoughts about a ban on e-cigarette products. In today's video, we'll take a look at their responses. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on the latest in vaping. First up is NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. Our decision when it comes to, to any sort of a product that's in the market should be based on evidence and should be based on the science. And if we have some science then evidence that point to a problem, then we should respond. Next, we have Conservative Party leader Andrew Scheer. Our government took measures uh, to ensure that uh, tobacco products were properly regulated and uh, to, to make it um, uh, more difficult or less enticing for young children to, or young teens to uh, take up uh, tobacco habits. So we're going to continue to support measures that do exactly that. Finally, Liberal Party leader and current Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. We're always looking uh, to do more to keep Canadians safe, but our decisions will be made uh, based on evidence, based on data, and we will have more to say as Health Canada continues to do its work of keeping Canadians safe, including uh, from uh, the dangers of vaping. After watching these responses, it's pretty clear that nobody wants to give a definitive statement and you really have to take this with a grain of salt. From their statements, it seems that our party leaders want to ensure we have adequate information before making a decision. Now, this doesn't mean they can't change their minds, but I really do hope as leaders of our country they're able to look at the facts versus misinformation in the media and make a reasonable decision. It really seems like here in Canada we're stuck in the middle between the US and the UK. On one side, in the US, we see illnesses popping up and the media has done a great job of spreading misinformation about vaping being the cause. As we know, the most common factor in these cases is the use of counterfeit THC products. Unfortunately, due to misinformation and hysteria, this has resulted in many states imposing emergency bans on the sale of e-cigarette products and there is potential for a federal ban. On the other side, in the UK, vaping has become a large part of public health. Doctors such as those from the Royal College of Physicians recommend its use as a method of quitting smoking and there are even vape shops in a few UK hospitals. There have been regulations imposed on certain aspects of vaping such as advertisement, sale to minors, and even maximum nicotine content and bottle size to ensure products are purchased responsibly. This has worked rather well for the country. With two very different opinions from two of our largest influences, Canada has some big decisions to make. How do you think the election will affect vaping? Let's talk about it in the comments below. As always, I'm Nick from Vape Meat. Thanks for watching.